Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you GD Script in Godot 3.1. Let's get started. In this lesson, we're going to look more closely at Move and Slide and then also learn about is on floor and how we use normals to control jumping as well as what normals are. So as normal, heh. Let's go on back to our code over in player.gd. <clears throat> so as you can remember, right now we can jump infinitely. It doesn't matter if we're on the floor or not. Luckily, kinematic body has something called is on floor. <clears throat> Returns true if the body is on the floor. Only updates when calling move and slide. This is why we changed everything to move and slide because we need to have something move and slide before Godot can tell if it's on the floor. So as you can see, it's just a function. So in here on move and jump, we're going to add to this if statement. So if we have just pressed UI up and the player is on floor, then we move and slide jump speed. That should be it, right? Up does nothing. So why is that? Let's go ahead and check again. Control click only updates when calling move and slide. Maybe there's something wrong with move and slide. So if we click on that, and then let's look through the parameters that move and slide can take. One is the linear velocity. We already have that. The next one is floor normal. So let's go figure out what floor normal is. It is the up direction, and it's used to determine what is a wall, floor, and ceiling. Right now it's set to zero, zero, which means that everything is considered a wall. So useful for top-down games where the player slides around. We are not making a top-down game though, we're making a side scroller, which means having everything be a wall will not work. So we need to make a new floor normal. So first off, what is a normal? A normal is the direction that points away from a surface. So if you look at a wall right now, the normal would be the direction coming out from the wall towards you. So as you can see, here's our little player. Wall normals point inward, ceiling normal points down, and floor normal points up. If you have a block of some sort or a platform, then the normals point away from it. No matter what the angle is, it's always going to be perpendicular. So let's go ahead and make a floor normal. So we're going to add a var called floor normal. We're going to make a vector two, negative one. So negative one, remember, points up. And this is actually called a unit vector because the magnitude is one. So if you remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In a unit vector, or yeah, unit vector, c squared is equal to one. What this means is whatever a and b are, their squares added together need to equal one. It's really easy in this case, because if you think about it, a is zero, a squared is zero, plus negative one squared is one, and that equals one. So we have a unit vector. Unit vectors are very useful when it comes to determining normals. But enough about that, let's see how we use it. So it looks like move and slide can take a second parameter. So what we're going to do is anywhere we have move and slide, we are going to add floor normal. As you can see, we have linear velocity and then floor normal. Then stop on slope, max slide, all that sort of stuff. We're going to ignore that for now. Right now, we're going to copy and put that everywhere we have move and slide. 
And now we are only jumping when we're on the ground. Awesome. All right, so you just learned about floor normals as well as how to add multiple arguments to your if statement or multiple conditions, and then also how to use is on floor. In the next lesson, we are going to be cleaning this all up so that we don't have clashing velocities every cycle. We are going to be combining it into a single velocity that is updated every cycle. So see you there. Thank you for watching Space Shark Teaches. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell to always stay up to date. Please also join us on our Discord, linked in the comments, and check out our other videos if you ever want to see what else we've been up to. Thanks again for watching, and we can't wait to see what you make.